We will all soon have a star in our eyes as the total solar eclipse covers Indiana in darkness. With less than three weeks to go, experts are reminding us to protect our eyes while enjoying the moment. CBS 4 Scarlett O'Hara clears up a common misconception about the eclipse. With each sunrise and sunset, celestial experts and Hoosiers in the path of totality alike are counting down the days until April 8th. I'm retiring at the end of this year. This is sort of my moment. Professor Brian Murphy's 30 years teaching astronomy and physics at Butler University will culminate with this, one of the most fleeting moments of his career made even more special because he can watch from where it all began. Seeing a total solar eclipse is one of the most amazing sights that someone can see. Uh, it certainly is one of the most amazing I've seen. Uh, your chance of seeing one is once every 375 years. So this is the time to see it because it's gonna be 2153 before we have another one here. He says a common misconception about eclipses is that sunlight is more dangerous during one. He wants people to know that while you should be wearing eye protection to look up while the moon is still making its way across the sun, you won't want to miss the short time when nothing but the corona is visible. As we enter in the eclipse, the first portion will be the partial eclipse. That will last about 76 minutes. That's when the surface of the sun is visible. That's when you need your eclipse glasses. So how do you know when it's safe to take the glasses off? Well, Professor Murphy says during the few minutes of totality, you'll no longer see the sun through your eclipse glasses. That's when it's safe to look up without them. As we come out of the back side of the eclipse, people will certainly know when to put those glasses on because your eyes will be more dark adapted and that first little tiny speck of sunlight kind of comes through, you're gonna be going like this. And if you want to preserve this moment the way we all know how these days. What people should do with their cell phones at the partial phases is just put their eclipse glasses up to their camera and that way they'll actually be able to capture those partial phases. During totality, you don't want any filters at all. You wanted to use your phone directly. Reporting in Indianapolis, Scarlett O'Hara, CBS 4 News. Pediatricians have a few tips for parents on Eclipse Day. They say make sure your children keep their glasses on or you can try an at-home experiment like a pinhole camera so they don't have to worry about the glasses at all.